Hello and welcome back. We uh, continue our discussion on the SDR format approach. And this time around, we are going to learn about how you can use another form of the placeholders in um, another way, okay? All right, so let's say now we want to change the message. We want it to um, be something like, hello, and then we bring whatever is in full name. Then we will ask, do you care for some, the name of the drink? Then we bring your name again, okay? So um, you see that very soon. So the message I want is this. I want to say, hello, and then I'll bring whatever value is stored in full name. So I'm going to bring a placeholder here. We are not done just yet. So hello, and then we'll put in whatever is in full name. Then I'll ask, do you care for some, and then we want to bring the name of the drink, and then I'll bring your name once more. So you can see that over here, we are repeating the use of the value from the full name, okay? So we come here, we call dot .format, and then we pass in full name. This is what we learned earlier before we even learned about the named placeholders, right? And then we print, um, we put drink here. Well. Is this going to work? Let's see. So I'm going to bring the terminal and then we can run this program again. And it says index error replacement index two out of range for positional argument tuple blah blah blah. What is happening here is we are using three placeholders but we are providing only two values to the format function. That is the first problem. Okay, the second problem is because we are not using named placeholders, the order in which we pass the values to the format function matters. And so we have three placeholders, we have provided only two. So full name goes here, drink goes here, and Python doesn't know what to substitute for this placeholder over here. And so there are several ways we, we can fix this, but what I want to show you how to do in this video is we can give it indices. So this is the zeroth in, um, index. This is one. And then I want to repeat whatever I substituted for zero. So full name is going to take the place of zero because that is the placeholder that Python will see first. So full name will take index zero and then drink is going to take one. So wherever it sees a placeholder with zero in it, it is going to substitute full name over here. So I'm going to save this program and then we will run it once again to see that now the error should be gone. So it says, hello, Moon Tiger. Do you care for some grape juice, Moon Tiger? Let's make it nicer. Let's bring our question mark so that it looks like the question that we want to ask. So let's run it again and you can see that indeed we have, hello, Moon Tiger. Do you care for some grape juice, Moon Tiger? So this is one way we, um, we, we can achieve the use of repeated value substitution. But of course, because of what we know from previous video, you also know that we can use named parameters to achieve the same thing. And I'm going to leave that to you as an assignment to play with. So thank you very much for watching this. And in the next video, I am going to teach you about the oldest technique for doing variable substitution, which also turns out to be the least preferred approach. But like I mentioned in the face-to-face -face video, it is still important to know about it because if you join a development team and you have to maintain some old code base, chances are that you will meet the use of this not so nice variable substitution technique in there and so it is imperative that you understand how to use it so let's take a quick pause and i'll see you in the next video